All right, the next piece we got to do here is to go from grams to moles and moles to grams here at the bottom. So we'll make this video and do both of those. So you'll have a question where it gives you grams and it asks for moles and it gives you a chemical formula. Now, I've already in the previous video found the mass of NH420. It was right here. It was 52 grams per one mole. So anytime you are given one of these problems and it has a formula in it, you need to calculate the mass. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is a short picket fence. And I know that you probably don't love them, but hopefully after we practice a bunch, um, just in this quick video, it should be fine. So in the picket fence, we always take the number and unit that you're given and you put it right here. You always start with those things. So in this question, I was given 50 grams of NH4O2. All right, the picket fence, always, 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 these two corners, this top left and the bottom right, um, are the same unit. So this unit will come down here. So it's NH4, whoops, O. There was not a 2 here. I'm sorry about that. It was just NH4, 2, O. That's silly. Sorry. It's, it's this formula. Um, and then I put what I want to solve for here, which is moles. How many moles? And whatever unit is right here will always match whatever unit is right there. They are always the same numbers. Sorry, units. I'm struggling. So we'll have moles, which means we have moles. So now I come to this proportion, and I put it in here. 52 grams, and the grams were down here, so 52 grams per every one mole. So I put one mole on top. So this problem ends up being 50 divided by 52, which I typed in and I got 0.961 would be my answer. Okay, so just quick one more time. You take the given number and unit here. You take the unit. These two always match. Then you find what you want is your answer, and those two always match. And then you flip this over whatever way you want. Okay, if I look at the next part, um, it's going to be the same but different. This time it wants to know how many grams um, are in moles. So I have the same thing. I need to first find the molar mass of H2O. So it's two H's. H is one. So it's two times one plus 18 or, oh, that's the answer, sorry, plus 16, because that is the mass of one oxygen. So it's 18 grams per mole for water. So I start my picket fence. And remember, I always take my given, which is six moles of H2O. And hopefully you remember this unit right here always matches this unit down here. So down here, I'd have moles H2O. And right here, I have for every one mole, I have 18 grams of H2O. I want to solve for grams, so that's set up. So now I take 6 times 18, and I get, I think, 96 grams. 60... maybe 86 grams, but either way, let me just type it real fast, hold on. 108, 108, that's why I should do the math before I would do that. Okay, coming back up here, just a quick review. When we are asked for moles, the answer is usually small. So you see it was 0.961 moles. When we're asked for grams, it's usually 
a big number. Okay, these correlate to some homework problems in the back. I'll look up and tell you later.